Okay, so you know we um, start this Unix class. Okay, um, so my name is Manu Mitra, and you know um, I'll be giving you you know I'm an instructor for Unix for your classes. And um, let's see here. So you know we'll just uh, go a little bit. Um, uh, I'm, I'll be going just uh, introduction part, okay? We are not going deep into, uh, you know, writing this shell script, you know, C shell, ba uh, you know, bash and con shell. So we will not worry on all those things. We will be only concentrating on essentials of Unix. So we will just try to understand what is this Unix is all about and, you know, how are we going to use it. So let's go through this introduction part a little bit. I uh, have just a uh, Slides, you know what? Let, let's see the slides. I uh, have just prepared uh, some of this. Okay, good. So we'll just go through this Unix. So now you'll be having this document ready. Go ahead. I would, uh, you know, recommend you to go ahead and read this document. Okay, N uh, not just uh, uh, you know viewing my videos. You also have to do your work too, right? Um, because I cannot do 100% of the work, so you have to also contribute some of your work. So, what I would recommend you to a little bit understand what is this. So, here Unix actually it was Unix U N I C S that means Uniplex Information and Computing System, okay, operating system. So Unix is an operating system, you know, uh, but it's not as simple as Windows. So in Windows, everyone can use Windows, right? Even kids, you know, kids use Windows. Because it's just a button, you know, just click on this icon and you get the C drive, you know, go to this. So, you know, you know, click on this button. So, it's, it's easy. Everyone can do this, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, um, it's not in the case of Unix. Unix is COI. That means character user interface. That means there is no, of course, in Ubuntu, like Ubuntu kind of um, operating system, you still have this graphical user interface but whatever you want to do in unix the much better when you use cui okay the character whenever you are using the character user for interface that is much more um, you know um, it's good and uh, because the root you know we'll discuss on this because all this is comes to root root is kind of admin super admin um, that's all you know how it thinks so we'll, we'll go through that uh, but first uh, first we'll try to see here what's the difference between the Unix and Windows you know uh, we, we want to see a little bit uh, try to get some understanding on Unix and Windows operating system so both are operating systems um, so it's multi-user of course this is a multi-user you can use uh, you know as many users you want multitasking of course so you can both are multitasking and the unix requires less ram to boot okay <coughs> okay uh, it, it requires less than windows no it says 12 mb but if you see this latest uh, windows 10 uh, that's way more it's, it consumes a lot of gb you know it's, it comes in gb so don't even worry about this mb thing here yes unix uh, requires way far you know less than ram what is required by the windows okay that's the advantage because the booting if you are booting it see here is this here's the tape take out from me i use windows 10 right and uh, uh, to restart my system it takes 15 to 30 minutes uh, take it as 30 minutes right to boot hold uh, you know windows operating system into just restart my system i'm restarting my system and it takes 30 minutes and obviously in unix uh, 30 minutes is no way you know, just two minutes that's it not even two minutes just load something seconds right uh, even in the new system it just queue five minutes and that's is done and windows takes 30 minutes just to my personal my personal computer i'm talking about my personal windows and uh, my, my office laptop too uh, it takes 30 minutes to boot my uh, so th that's uh, the bad side you know th th that's a disadvantage of the windows okay and unix is process based and this is thread based concept and uh, and one more important thing here is it does 100,000 transaction per minute unix can process one 100 transaction per minute 
whereas Windows can process edit. Okay, this is the old one. It, it, it's similar now. It has been upgraded. A lot of things can do. So it's not a big deal. Uh, but um, yeah, previously it used to be 80,000 per man. So okay. And there is no limit for, and this is, yeah, the, the, this is most important thing. Win, Unix is an open system. It's not always the Red Hat Linux is no more, it's used to be an open source, but, but still there are a lot of open source Unix, like Fedora. Fedora is always, and that's used as corporate level operating systems, okay? Fedora is used as, uh, you know, commercial level. So it's a very commercial, very powerful. Uh, Unix operating system. Okay, if you know the Unix basic commands and you know you you can do run a lot more things than what you can do in Windows. So that's very important thing. So Unix is open system. Yes, Windows is core system. Yes, it's proprietary. You have to buy it, and I uh, know that's a problem. And um, then uh, it's a Unix is portable. It's not okay. That's okay. I mean, we are not worried about portability and um, okay programming facility you know windows even has this programming you have this powershell kind of thing right uh, even windows has this powershell where you can actually you know use the similar thing but the commands are different completely different okay here you go this is the most important it is cui cui means character user interface and this is gui gui means graphical user interface where you actually uh, you know um, use icons and you know, double clicks and all those things, files and all those things. But it's obvious it's not in the case of Unix. Unix is not user friendly. Um, you know there is a quote by Dennis Ritchie. If you know Dennis Ritchie, um, Unix is simple, but it requires genius mind to understand its simplicity. Okay, that's how it is. Uh, Unix is simple, but it just requires genius minds to understand its simplicity. Is quote by Dennis Ritchie, who is actually father of uh, C language. Okay, he's also worked on Unix and one of the co-founder of Unix. So um, it's not user friendly. Yes, I mean because the reason because it's not um, you know you you have to do a lot of work around a lot of effort you need to put because it's a character user interface and it is user friendly and I really don't agree completely on the user friendly part on this uh, Windows because as of today the Windows 10 now there are so many bugs in it and I don't find bugs in Unix but I mean of course there might be a bug and you know if you there's a community and if you repair book they'll uh, fix the bugs but uh, it obviously this is not the case in this you know Windows okay so that's the difference between the unix and windows all right uh, and uh, one more thing what i'm missing here is uh, i'm missing something here um unix you know even though a lot of uh, people use in the corporate environment windows is used but at the back end unix is still used because all the servers of the servers are maintained in the unix environment not in windows windows if you are using Windows, one small bug, everything gets screwed up. Okay, so, um, you know, that's the reason you use this Unix. Oh, one more thing that I missed is virus. Now, you, you, now you don't have virus in Unix. There's nothing called virus in Unix, right? Um, and Windows, you can, you can create your own viruses there, right? I mean, Windows is like plenty of virus. Even Windows uh, guys can create virus for Windows itself. So, uh, you don't find any virus in Unix. Although you can script a lot of, la I know, per you can do Perl scripting, you can do bash, you know, shell scripting, all those things, but uh, you, you cannot harm this, uh, you know, whole operating system. That's so robust it is. That's a very advantage for Unix. The, uh, that's the reason all the backend system in the corporate environment is Unix, not Windows. Okay. So, okay, so before going that, I have uh, one, uh, so we'll go just pretty quick here. Uh, I missed something here. We'll go to, we'll just go to here, a little uh, PowerPoint here actually. So, uh, I think uh, this is the one. Hopefully. Oops, oops, oops. 
Okay, just wanted to show you some, you know, the structure of the Unix actually. So we'll go through all this actually. We, 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 no, you know what? We will actually go through all this. But let me. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is the thing. I should have organized this before, but um, you know, just a first class. So okay, this is the structure of the Unix. Okay. Now, there's a structure of uh, Windows. We are not talking about the Windows at this point of time. You're talking about the Unix. So we'll talk about this Unix. So here's the thing. This is the hardware. This is the hardware. Upon that hardware, there is a kernel. Kernel is OS, this operating system. Okay, this is, this is the thing which you coordinate with hardware. And upon that is a shell. So now that's what we are talking about. A, shells are like, you know, it's like, you have C shell, con shell, bash, you know, just a lot more shells and then you know, I think they are keep inventing this new shells. Okay. Now upon that there's applications. So these applications are you know it can be corporate level application or simple gaming application or simple simple Perl applications. So any application whatever is will go through this. So this is the structure of you know Unix. Um, Everything which it has to coordinate is to kernel. Kernel is this main operating system uh, on which upon that shell is there and you can change your shell. You want bash shell? Go ahead bash shell. Use bash shell. You want con shell? Go ahead. And then the difference between the different shells are actually uh, the various kind of um, no, the, the amount of the kind of different work. You know, the, each shell has its own a way of doing that uh, you know work and running the scripts actually it comes useful when you try to uh, uh, scripting when you go into scripting Perl scripting or you, you shell scripting in that case you you will you know, know the difference between the C shell you know bash shell or con shell etc okay so we'll not go de deep into that it, it's just for your understanding okay we will just go you know just a, unix is an ocean we'll just have a touch of that water level but we are not going deep into it and i'm going to understand in this class of course okay um we are just trying to understand this and trying to navigate this thing whole thing all the way all right so this is a structure of you know the unix so um here uh, we'll okay let's go to let's go back here so okay so here is the thing we know this is kernel this is our um this is where actually the os operating system and this is, really, this is the shell and upon this shell is application and these are the user okay okay uh, to understand this better we'll use why not use this unix already right we will use this unix okay uh, let's go to here so th this is the directory formation so you know what we have this directory in unix let's compare to the i'm sorry to windows you, let's compare through this window we have the c c drive right in the c drive you have this c here c slash and uh, program files i go get and go to program files i have access c program files okay and these are the applica application similarly you th this is the way the root root is actually the kind of C drive or D drive you say in Windows similarly the root is actually the super administration super administrator which you have if you have access to that that is the drive and from that all these are you know um, these are the uh, you don't call folders in this you call directories okay in Unix in Windows you call folders in Unix you call directories okay um, why not we just see this in practical way okay I'll give you access for this you have all access for this uh, you know what um, before that you want to install putty right uh, you want to, you want to go ahead and install putty here because without that we don't have access here okay so I will be adding that uh, Unix tools and installation we have these two things win putty and win sap if, if you want to install putty here i have given you step by step process here for you for your understanding and i will attach this for your information just in the browser 
and download this um, <coughs> here you have this option if you are using 32 do bit you get just 32 or you want to use binary files binary files uh, these are the exe files um, binary you also might have some binary files here no okay good uh, binary files here yeah, okay yeah here you go are something which is already extracted and you don't have to run something that means you don't need administrative privileges to run a file okay those are binary files okay um, but exe files you need some administrative access but technically you don't need this administrative this is a very simple application but is very simple <coughs> application and you don't have to worry about it and once you do it install it this is the screenshot i have made it for you guys okay run it and once you put it the host name is grex.org and the port 22 and username so we know this i'll be attaching you uh, i'll be attaching this into that um, you know so you don't have to worry so let's let's see here let me run go to this and load here this is the host or ip address if you know the ip address you can go in host name is grex.org so this is a free unix for you for your practice so i'm giving you, you no know, for your practice i'm just put it open I hope it works. Oh, great, it's working. Um, username, you know, just wait until I get the username. For now, we'll just use this username for our convenience and the password. That's good. Now, if you see this, uh, this is Unix, right? Okay. Now, uh, if you see here, this is the bash. Okay. Now, I can change my bash okay now let's get back to here so we were talking about this right now you will be better understanding what you know this if you you are using this black screen you know we will see here okay so this root contains all these directories these are directories okay L let's see here how does it so i will be using one command called pwd that means present working directory okay that's pwd now here you see the slash i slash t slash idml here it's completely different because this is a free unix and um, you don't have this admin access so don't try to screw anything uh, your account will be locked uh, this is very minimal minimal to minimal access you will be having so you can only navigate directory create directory or navigate files create shell scripts all you can do you cannot run anything so because you don't have admin access right so don't try to um, go more detail if you want to go detail uh, you know we separate um, tutorial on that so a separate thing but here we'll just make it simple right okay so just like this um, here so root is the main folder the slash right slash is the root here you go you see slash slash is the root i is the another directory and the directory is t another directory is i jamaica is a directory now okay we we will just go to you know uh, one by one very quick here and uh, no, no no hurry um i know i'm a little bit fast but you can you know um replay it multiple times if you think i'm fast but you know you can um you can replay multiple times because my accent might be an issue or you know my voice may be slow or something so all right so here root slash slash is actually the root this is the root directory where the entire file is from. that means you are a super user if you have access to root then you are a super administrator I mean, you will never have normally you don't have unless you go as a super administrator of uh, unix okay bin stands for binary okay so these are directories so we will be dealing we will not be dealing much on this okay uh, these are the directories and you can create your own directory there's commands a lot of commands here to you know create your directories so this is a simple introduction on the unix okay, this is a simple introduction and the differences between the unix okay so here oops um here let's uh, we'll we'll talk about this various uh, okay let's let's uh, see 
um, about WinSCP. So what exactly is this WinSCP? Now, now here I have installed this WinSCP. Uh, you know what? Let's. So there's a command called exit. So I'll just exit from here, and this is gone. Okay. Okay, great. Now there is something called WinSCP here. No, I have already installed WinSCP. Let's try to do this. Okay. So the same thing here we use file protocol is SFTP that means secured file transfer protocol SFTP and again the host name is grex.org port number is 22 uh, I'm using here a different okay now why not we use this one oops guess what uh, we will be using you know our new we'll just use this one the port name is password until we get this new password we'll try to use this one and we'll just save uh, root insert okay so we we'll just put a save with password for now and we don't have site name we'll just put as uh, we already have this item maker so um we we'll just put the same thing okay uh, and this here go okay now once you do this try to log in uh, gets to this <coughs> trying to authenticate and so it's authenticate being more directory and, and here you go oh great so there are a lot of other files here if you can see here so in this room lot of things here because I've already given access to a lot of people so don't want to use this one actually I've requested a different access for this so okay so here you know so okay so the, my point here is the point of using bin SCP uh, the point is let's say you're having hard time for editing a file right you want to let's say you have written a shell script you have written a shell script but you have written in windows um not necessary you may have also written in um unix but the point is um you have some script which you want to directly put into it so you can drag and drop right from here in, uh, guess what we, we, we are trying to do that we, we will be trying to do that okay i hope my name is there here or not we'll create right from here New, uh, my name is Demetria. Great. Okay, so we can create my name. You know what? I'll just go ahead and create my name here. So we can go ahead and create a new directory. You know what? We can do this in Unix, but I'm just showing here so that we we'll just have some idea here. So just to use it. Okay. So here I have created my directory called Manu, and I'm just uh, you know let's let's see here. Um, I just want to go to the users. I hope uh, I have this see users. Let's, let's go to the users desktop. Okay, great. Uh, here, uh, let's say I want to upload my file credit dot txt right and I will what I'll do is just drag and drop here and that's it you know that's the use of um, win SCP right did you get the point um, the win SCP is to is an interface between the Unix and Windows let's say you know Windows very well you know how to navigate the file, you know how to write a file in notepad plus plus or you know how to create a notepad, you know how to, you know a lot of complex things you know in windows but uh, coming to Unix you want to know some things but if let's say you are having a hard time for creating a file or you know doing some ma file manipulation work then you, you can use WinSCP to just drag and drop uh, the file from one point of view here you know what let's let's hold on to here let's hold on and um yeah, let's go to putty right here so what we did here was remember uh, we dragged and dropped here we want to see that here uh, 
um, let's use this. Uh, okay. So I'll be giving you a new username password hopefully. Okay. So okay. So here you want to use commands here. Okay. Let, let's forget about um, the WinSCP. We did something WinSCP. We dragged the file from the Windows to Unix. Remember? Uh, that was a simple interface. But we want to see it in Unix, right? Now there's a command called ls. Great. Now I want to see my name. Where is my name? Ah, does anyone see my name? Ah, of course. Here we go. Since um, ls is list directory, so we will, you know, we'll talk about that. Uh, we will, uh, you know, work in detail uh, on that one. And we will also have this cheat sheet um, go through one by one. Okay. Uh, we'll have. Uh, we'll also go. We'll touch base on vi editor too a little bit. Um, you know, um, although. I'm not pro in VI editor just because there's a lot of commands that you have to use when you do escape and you know, all those complex commands. But we will go through that. Okay, we'll, uh, by the end of this Unix class, we'll have some touch on VI editor too. I'm not going into Emacs. So VI editor is if you know VI editor is like you know Notepad, right? If you know WordPad is like going Emacs. So it's that complex. VI editor is like notepad in windows okay but writing there is a little bit complex there. okay so here you see my name right this is my name now i want to see that directory that what i transferred right you know we have transferred something right so cd you know cd means change directory you know we will uh, we'll also go detail into that and i want to use same name what i have used and let's see now I am in this directory although it doesn't show it anywhere but if you want to know which directory you are you want to use PWD that means present working directory that will show you here here you are here in Windows you don't require that because see in, let me show you in Windows in Windows you see here right here this option is available here but in Unix you don't have that so if you want to know that you want to use PWD command that is present working directory all right now let's see here let's put ls list directory here you go now i want to read this right i want to read this you can use vi editor so for now we don't we don't want to go into the detail of that vi right at this point of time uh, we would just want to see what is actually that credit.txt so what you want to do is cat but the cat means not that cat cat means catalog okay that means just read uh, read what read current it's just try the exact name if you don't know just copy paste okay but it should be the exact or else it will throw an error uh, this is case sensitive make sure everything is right or else it will throw an error for sure all right so this is what it contained in the credit section really so you know why don't we check back here and see here what does it contain oh yeah really it, it contains this option so that's the reason it showed you know HTTPS and splash right uh, but it's not supposed to show this way uh, but somehow it went there. now you want to change the directory now right uh, which directory are we here now we are in this directory we want to change the directory so cd means same directory space dot dot we have leveled down one directory how do we now put pwd now we level down one directory right so this is how we work in unix for uh, creating okay so that's not the point the point here was to explain you about WinSCP actually right um, the whole point to do this was to explain you the importance of WinSCP here. So WinSCP is an uh, interface. Now I hopefully by this time you understood the usage of WinSCP, right? Uh, the use is it's an actually an interface between the Unix operating system and Windows operating system, right? This is Unix. This is Windows. See these two directories, right? 
uh, it's an, it's an uh, you know interface so that you can um, mostly used I mean you know it's better used for transferring files if you don't know FTP commands there is an FTP command in um, um, in Unix but um, I'm not sure it works here because I don't have access uh, you know but um, but uh, without access to we can do a lot of things here so not to worry about um, so uh, you know um, so that's how it works now let's say let's say I want to delete this let's I'll delete this okay I know more require this and I'll just delete this file so I'm just confirming okay and it got deleted now I want to check this I don't believe that right WinSCP don't believe this is new thing nobody heard of that right so we, why don't we check uh, you know so now I'll see what directory I'm working on ITML okay great so I want to go to my own directory that I've created CD Manu now we want to ls that means list directories or list I mean it's list uh, that that doesn't show hidden folders I'm sorry hidden directories but it shows whatever directories and files okay it doesn't show the there's a different command to show the hidden files and folders hidden files and directories okay uh, sorry folders if, if you call folders in uh, windows I know I'm repeating again people who uh, didn't pay attention I'm repeating it in windows you call folders here in unix you call as directories it's one of the same okay now uh, let's uh, let's see here ls there's nothing here you know this car so that was the point of explaining the usage of WinSCP right so this is WinSCP so as of now we don't require this much um, uh, WinSCP um, um, but if you you know it may, you might have uh, you know you might be it might be useful for you for in your work or in your uh, you know um, or in your future if you're working on because you have created some file in you know Unix you want to transfer it in into um, Windows you don't have access to FTP commands and all those things right a lot of things you know you don't have access you can use this one WinSCP that's the point now um, now installation of WinSCP now this is the point here this is what we are trying to do so to uh, now so I'll upload this too to install WinSCP go ahead um, and use this link and um, use this one as it goes to so here I have this option uh, download is in SCP for Windows or if you are using Unix uh, yeah mostly Windows or Mac you don't require this for any other operating system I think uh, but yeah you still have this option of a lot of things though mostly for windows this is mostly for windows so uh, that's the reason it colors win SCP right okay right uh, this is very um, useful software if you are trying to um, copy files of directories a bunch of folders a bunch of directories uh, gbs of uh, data which are okay you don't handle a lot of gbs of data into unix but uh, in either case even if you have this option you want to use WinSCP for that and it's free oh, this is open source so everything that we are talking about is here is open source where even whatever i'm recording here the software i'm using is open source I'm not using anything because no, I'm not uh, using any commercial product here. We are all working on open source projects. Okay. Now, so once you download this, here I have documented this. Um, since it was an upgrade option, so I upgraded actually recently. This WinSCP had a new one. So click here and accept and full upgrade. You, if you are pro in this, you know how to use this. Uh, you really know how to handle this you can use custom upgrade or i would go to full upgrade you know because i you know i don't want to go in details on this on these things and 
I'm not doing R&D on in, in SCP, so I don't want to go much detail. So I'll go to full upgrade. And once you're ready to installation, um, this is the destination file. I'll go and we'll just put it install. Once it installs, and you have this option, uncheck anyone and click on finish. Once you finish, as you know, as I told you, username. Uh, host name, sorry. File protocol will be SFTP, that means secured file transfer protocol, and the host name will be Greg's dot or org. This is the host name. Port number is 22. For now, we'll just use this, you know, username item icon. We'll have this username, I think, in five to six days. That will be a little bit uh, late, but you know, if possible, I'll give you the. Um, the different username and password okay for now we'll just use this one so we, we saw this happening right and once it this you have access to this win scp okay so once you have installed this now you don't require win scp and this was only for demonstration for you for understanding win scp most of time we'll be using this okay this black screen uh, in all the commands we will be working a lot of commands if you see here a lot of work is already done here a lot of people working on here okay uh, somehow they deleted my name too and I have to create my own name here you go um, okay so there is a lot of work going on okay and then let's let's uh, let's go back to here okay so guess what? We have some more time. Now why don't we just go to this a mini tutorial here? Uh, it's found at internet here in on the internet and see if you found a news here. So yeah. <coughs> so these different these are the different flavors of Unix. You know, Sun OS, Linux, Solaris, BSG, BSD is BSD is Unix. Li these are the Linux. Sun OX is Unix. So the difference between the Linux and Unix is, you know, the way the kernel the kernel is organized. Okay, that's the reason there's a difference. Otherwise, all are derivative of Unix. Everything is derived from the Unix. So whenever I say Unix, that also means Linux. Okay, so that's nothing to. But commands may be different. Commands are a lot more different for each and every operating system. So let's say there is, you know, uh, there's a lot of operating system like uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, BSD, BSD is one. So these commands are completely different. So we'll just go for basics one. We don't want to go in detail on everything. So we'll just go here basics so that you will understand, you know, wh wh what's this all about. Okay. So most of the Unix is, as I told you, it's CUI, that means character user interface. So it's text based. So whatever you want to do is here is to do with the, you know, typing. All if you are good with typing, uh, you go ahead and start typing, and you know you can do this. So okay, now as I told you, this is the root. So we have covered pretty much here. Okay, great. So this is the root root um, that holds the super administrator directory. From this, there are different directories here. You see here, these are all directories. User is a um, also you know uh, here we cannot see user. Let's try to see an user here. Okay, since pwd present working directory, I want to get rid of this directory. Now let's see here now let's see here uh, if i want to so now this is a very complex part if i have to switch off i have to exit from it because this gets a little bit complex here um let's go uh, we have just navigated into t directory this is the t directory of course this is not here this t directory is not here but uh, the point here is we want to try to see the users here right um Oh, let's see here. Um, we're great. So now, what we want to do is list. Now, if you see here, you have some of this. It's IT. I don't think you have this. You know, look. Guess what? 
So what? We'll just um, try to see in Win SCP. We'll just go here and back in. We'll try to see this in Win SCP if you can find. Uh, this will be much more easier uh, to find. Let's go here. So these are the uh, this is not exactly the users, um, but the real users who. So this is what we have seen here. Uh, let's go back one more directory. So you don't you don't have to remember all these directories. Okay, these are the. So we don't know which directory is this. Okay. Um, I think I had this um, access to this to to see this how much. Um, how many people were used to there in this directory and all those things but I guess uh, last to that command actually uh, ah here you go you see this TMP TMP this is the root this is what we are talking about you see here um, TMP is here you go TMP root so you see all these things the directory is basically what they are trying to say in this uh, this is, is directories just like Windows, you know, go here C. That's why I'm trying to say this. There's the program files, and there is uh, you know Intel, and there is an uh, in, uh, Internet Explorer. That's what they're trying to say here. You know, that's what it is. Um, so these are the directories. And if you see here, shortcut E U S R. Okay, this should be users. I hope. I hope this should be users, but do we have access to this? I don't think so. Okay. So here once you go root, you don't have access, so even, there you go, I mentioned here, you don't have access to the root and do, you don't even try to go into this because we don't have access for all these things. We only have one particular directory access and um, we have to make use of that. Okay, so here EC, etc, dev, home, these are the important, root, okay, where all this our directories see here etc bin we have did we find bin here should be there uh, if it's not there oh here you go it's bit uh, if it's not there that means it is hidden might be hidden if you see here writes see here writes right um rwxr this we will we'll talk about this uh, user access levels okay these are the access levels um, so these are all the owner is root so uh, technically you're not even supposed to view all this but we're still we are having some little bit access so we are able to see this right so in the next we will go to here okay so these are the directories so let's go to here uh, okay these are the different path names and uh, all right so Guess what? We'll just little bit jump into basic commands. So far, we know few of commands. Remember? Uh, okay, let's close this um, Windows CP uh, for now. Okay, we'll just jump into this pretty quick uh, commands here. Okay, so that, that's what the Unix class basically we commands. You need command on commands. Okay, um, so first thing is navigation part. Okay, you want to navigate a directory. Right, you know what is a directory? It is a folder in Unix. Uh, in Windows, you call it folder. In Unix, you call it directory. Now you know what it is. Ouch! So I just uh, screwed up myself. You know what? Let's let's go to back to IT. Great. Uh, we have we have gone back to our folder here. Now. No, what we are trying to do here? Okay, so we are trying to, uh, uh, you know, list a directory. Okay, ls. So that's what I did, right? Ls. Now, there's a lot more commands in just for ls. Ls. Now, ls is not just ls. List directories. So if you don't know, if you don't know, let's say you don't know, right? If you don't know something, what you want to do is, you know, ls, right? You want to man. That means manual. You want to go manual or ls let's see what's all about ah you got a lot of options here so if you don't know something you know one command you know one command but if you don't know how to use that command 
So you want to use MAN, that means manual, that shows a lot of options more than actually what actually it is. You know what actually is in tutorial than here what it is. Okay, because the help in Unix help is lot. It just help yourself. Okay, Unix is kind of help yourself. You know, there's a lot of help inside it. So here you are using only 16 percent. Okay. So here you can navigate here, you know, uh, there are various options here, well, what does minus A means, minus B means, you know, you know what, we are not going all through all this, if you really love all these things, you want to use it by yourself, I will be explaining you only few of ls commands, okay, not everything, because this is, ls itself is an ocean. See, ls is listing a directory, right? You are navigating a directory. That means you want to, you know, uh, see directory. So I am not going through all this. So I will be quitting it. So for quitting it, escape. Uh, great. So to quit this, click, uh, you know, put it escape colon q. That means q means quit okay we will go that thing in detail later okay so now we will just go back to ls ls we have one important command ls minus ltr let's see what it does oh wow so ltr means you know l is length t is time r means you know is reverse you know reverse it shows the reverse so um this shown lot of list which more than i can handle it i cannot handle all this this has gone beyond my reach so what i want to do here is when i'm doing ls minus ltr i want to use pipe command pipe um more that means i'm giving some command to stop in the screen so that I can see all the list now I cannot see all the list because it's shown everything at once okay so what I'm telling you next is ls minus ltr l is list t means time it, it shows you see this time may third you know for r means reverse order so somewhat reverse because if you put minus lt that means it doesn't do the reverse thing okay so let's, let's try to use this ls minus ltr pipe more let's see what happens here ah here you go that means it shows the screen which is uh, that means here you see here by two five two nine means you have more so you can either um you know hit space bar or it shows another space bar end so uh, the point is the point of using this ls my uh, okay pipe command this is the pipe command you know see this pipe i'm sorry shift pipe you know this is called pipe this pipe command uh, is used is to actually integrate two commands into one it's normally uh, <coughs> the way it is used is integrate two commands into one okay that's how the pipe command is used okay so here what you do here is Okay, that's what we use. Let's let's use one more ls command actually. ls minus lt. Now I'm using pipe command again. Uh, just no space. Uh, now the thing here is uh, we are not using r. That means the reverse order is no more. You know, it it it's, uh, it was just to reverse. That means the time used to get reversed. Now it's so here you are you see this dwr this is the access levels okay uh, we'll go through this what are these access levels so we'll, uh, we'll happen to see that that we'll see in hopefully in win scp we better understand it because it has kind of number zero seven one four zero seven one three something like that so we'll see that one um okay so that is about ls okay to be main okay so this is about ls to list a different directory. Now there is something called CD. So we already, you know, talked about the CD. CD is change directory. Okay. The CD MK MKDIR. MKDIR means make directory. So we are not making here. We are changing directory here. Okay. Now we want the CD directory. We are here. PWD. 
present working directory okay great now cd i want to change my directory to my name um, my directory that is whatever i want to do here right uh, cd mano right now so that's that's what it does you know cd is change directory pwd uh, print working okay that's fine print working directory you know guess what um, we can program a small command here with this go small command you know what echo means echo means print you know it is like you know echo right whenever you echo just to repeat the same thing again so if i put echo manu uh it's supposed to print manu again here you saw this is a small this is not a scripting but uh, echo means print that means you are you are telling unix to print my name you know whatever i want to put you no know, whatever you want to put here echo how are you doing you know it doesn't give error i hope so how are you doing it's kind of you know it's giving you uh, an output of the same thing echo means you know echo right the same command so if you don't know how to use the echo now i really suggest you to use manual echo now here you're having some lot of information here uh, which nobody does right even i don't know what's the usage of this whole echo you know you can you find out who see this unix is the good thing about this unix is help is always there but the only thing is help yourself the point is help yourself um help is always there in unix right um, let's say you know some command okay you know something uh, let's say sudo now sudo doesn't work here you know sudo okay now if you want to put manual of sudo that doesn't work here because there is no entry of manual see this sudo is used in different operating system so we will not go this is um, um, you know uh, it's a, it's a admin level access and so we do super admin level access so we are not going into super admin just for your uh, information i'm just mean so it doesn't work here okay okay let's go for next commands uh, du du is disk usage so we we'll just try to use du four uh, i'm not sure what's this four um, so we are using four disk okay that is in the server side so we never know uh, how much disk you said you are using okay okay now the fun part is mkdir okay we, we finish this pretty quick here mkdir so remember we created a name in winscp but we didn't um, use it here right let's let's say here So what I'm trying to do here is, oops, before I do anything, I just want to know here which type we are. Okay, good. So what I'm to do? I don't think it works. Ouch. Yes. Okay. So we'll not worry about it. Um, you know, we'll just uh, see mk dir, and we'll just create one more file in um, manu2. Okay, we'll just create one for. Great, it did. It did create uh, one more name. Okay, uh, let's find out. Let's find out. It's ls. Um, I don't want all this. I just ls. You know and see where is my oh and guess what I have created a directory I supposed to create my directory in um, here actually but unfortunately I have created in inside I have created a directory inside a directory ok so <coughs> but still we managed to create a directory right uh, this is the directory now cp cp is used to copy a file 
you know um, we guess we'll work on this a little bit uh, later on we have some files here right why don't we use your file oh we'll just use this file okay so it says there's some file one dot txt right um let's use this okay cp uh, let's try to use this do we have any command here cp since we are in this directory file one to which directory do you want to transfer it right now i want to use the problem is you want to use all this um, which directory you want to copy it I want to copy it to this directory that means cp the file name oops I'm sorry I hope this works no. file.txt .txt that means I'm trying to uh, you know copy this and let's say if this works let's I hope it works ah it worked so what what happened with this command is cp means copy that means I copied this file one to which location to you know this location but technically which I'm in ITMI location I'm not even that directory so let's find out let's let's go to this cd uh, change directory slash menu two. Okay, now let's find out. And it is file eleven. You see the usage of command cp is copy. But how do you copy file cp file name? This so already there is a file dot txt here. I just copied this and space give it space. You have to copy all this location actually. The problem is where the location you want to copy it. You know it's not it's kind of in let's say an example in windows right you want to copy some file let's say this credit file this copy this just use this copy and paste it's simple here but here what you want to do is use the cp command the file name and the direct location of the directory where you want to copy that's the usage of this copy move move also works the same of copy but delete that's original file do we don't want to do that here right now at this point of time but the usage is sim similar same instead of cp use mb well, we don't want to use it you know we don't want to mess up with this files okay because we'll be requiring this further for our usage ah uh, here you go rm uh, i suppose to use rm that that's why it's not rm is to remove uh, you know what now I copied this I want to remove this so you know what we'll just okay to remove this I want to be in that particular directory so I'm here and I want to remove rm you want to specify the exact file name here or else it doesn't work right great let's see here now it's gone okay that's how rm works okay for, uh, see this is rm is for removing file uh, you have another command rmdir so that's what i was actually looking at let's see uh, i'm changing my directory to manu and i will rmdir okay manu2 it's gone now i don't file my directory here because it's gone see here oops sorry See, you, you, you know, you don't have Manu2. Uh, <coughs> want to try Manu2? There is no directory because I deleted it. See, that's the usage of. Um, ah, here you see, they are telling you outright that be careful. If you are using this, you cannot retrieve it. So that's true. Okay, if you don't know, you can use RM minus star. Oh, don't even try that. You will delete a lot of things. RM star. Um, you don't want to use that okay um and that's pretty much okay and other you have this text editing emacs uh, pico gcc pine we will just uh, you know go for bi editor for us so we'll stop this tutorial here it's been one hour okay uh, but uh, i hope you got some information on the commands um we'll try to refresh it tomorrow if you find a little bit hard we'll try to see here 
uh, one more command is to exit and we'll exit from here um, you know next we'll uh, you know do this again 